So guys, today we're back from another video on the channel. Today we're here for the new Classic United vs Everton player ratings. What a victory. What a game of football. I'm absolutely delighted. If you want to go and watch the vlog, there'll be an eye button at the top, link in the description and on the end screen. What a victory that was. My foot's a bit sore from all the shouting and screaming, but it's all worth it. What a victory and we'll go through player ratings, player by player. And it's, it's been a while, but I think a performance like that and a game like that it's deserved. I think the last time Newcastle had a kind of convincing win, I can't even think off the top of my head. Leeds wasn't convincing, Burnley wasn't convincing. That was a convincing win and I was convinced we were going to win the game and we did win the game. What a victory. Out of the relegation zone, let's get into these player ratings boys. So starting off with the goalkeeper Martin Dubravka, he made, I mean, he made a really good save in the second half I remember. But apart from that he didn't have to do much to be fair. The goal, like it's literally what can he do now to do um, defensively, it's it's just one of them goals. Now defensively you can do about it, um, it's an own goal but I think Lascelles, I, I mean, Dubravka couldn't do much with Lascelles' own goal but Overall, didn't put a foot wrong. He literally didn't. Kicking was improved. For once, I see him actually releasing the ball quickly. We look attacking. Looks like getting the ball up. Good performance by Martin Dubravka. 8 out of 10. All right then, because I'm not just doing this now. I always go from goalkeeper to right back to left back. Who was right back? Fucking trip, yeah. And if, even if he didn't score that free kick, right... He's getting the rating that he's going to get. I don't like seeing that. Wait until it pops up. You can see when I finish top of the player. What a performance. What a performance. He is. Like, when we signed Kieran Trippier, we knew he was a good player. I didn't realise he, he would have this much of an impact on the team. What a signing. What a signing. In the Premier League, with Kieran Trippier, we've got 7 out of 9 points. 7 out of 9 points when Kieran Trippier's played. Right. Leader. Right, it's good. Just because Lascelles is captain doesn't mean that he's the lead. Doesn't mean that Lascelles is the leader of the team. He, what he, he was, he was purely class today, and to get that goal as well. Honestly, the limbs. I even made a separate video. I don't normally do that. I think I'm gonna do, gonna start doing that more often. Where I just upload the goals to to the channel and whatnot. That goal was worthy of just getting a separate video. What a goal that is by Kevin Trippier. What a free kick. I even said it even before he scored. about World Cup vibes. It was World Cup vibes. Kevin Trippier. 10 out of 10. So then, like, we all thought Jamal LaSalle score, but he actually got an own goal to his name and no actual goal. But it was a mad one because Mason Holgate was the last Everton player to touch the ball before LaSalle put it in as an own goal. But then like, Mason Holgate scored an own goal, but LaSalle was the last Newcastle player to touch the ball. It was a mad one. But Jamal LaSalle's. I don't care what anyone says, right? I'm a critic of Jamal Lascelles, right? I've been a critic all season. I've been a critic for a very long time of Jamal Lascelles, right? That performance today, sublime. I don't give a fuck what anyone says or who thinks about him. Jamal Lascelles was sublime today, right? He, he stood his ground. That, oh, he's not going to get the perfect 10, right? Because there was a lot of good things, but there was a lot of bad things as well. I say a lot of bad things. There were some bad things as well. The, the free kick on the edge of the box. What the fuck's he doing, right? There's no need to, to, to put that challenge in, right? Stand your man, stay strong, and let him get a shot off where he's going to hit you, right? Don't bring him down like some daft cunt. Stay, stay put and let it be what be, right? Don't be a daft cunt to give a free kick away like that, but it now happened off the free kick, which is luckily, but I mean, Jamal Lascelles, we've got the critics and whatnot, we've got what we say about him, but overall, I think he was actually really, really good. He's going to get a good 8 out of 10 for me. Fabi Shaw, there was one negative about Fabi Shaw um, quite early on in the game. Um, he literally just let the Charles run past him, and I mean run past him, he literally, literally just stood there and watched him run past him. But yet again, did he put a foot wrong? No. Fabi Shaw didn't, apart from the, the challenge. To be fair, I, even, I forgot Fabi Shaw was even playing, to be fair, which is good for a centre-back. You, when you're forgetting that your centre-backs are playing, you know that when Everton aren't really attacking and he hasn't had to do much. He's keeping down burnout with his team. New sign, new Jordy lad, 6'6", six six, had a really good season at Brighton so far. He's keeping around the team because it's from that performance by Jamal Lascelles, he'll not get dropped. It's, it's what... It, 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 that is the facts. He'll not get dropped now. Just fa it'll be Fabi Shaw to get dropped out with Jamal Lascelles. That's the facts. That's how it will work. Does Fabi Shaw deserve to get dropped? No chance. But, um, good performance. I've got to give him the same as Lascelles, to be fair, an 8 out of 10. 
And this is a performance where I thought was absolutely sublime. One of the best debuts I've seen from a Newcastle United player, Matt Target. An absolute grafter. Like there was like he was pinging balls about and I was how 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 are Aston Villa letting him just go on loan like like that? I know they've got Lucas Dean. How are they letting so, so, a player so good just go like that? Where well, you're gonna see a difference on, on Sunday when we play Villa and obviously he can't play. Um but I think he was sublime. He he was. Like, he didn't put a foot wrong, he was getting up the pitch, he was working with Maxi, overlapping, he was, he was, he was good. And he was that last man on the corner, so when we had a corner, he was the one sitting back and Everton really didn't have a, a counter-attack off any sort of corner whatsoever. Matt Target was there to do the job. I don't think it's worthy of a perfect 10, but it's definitely a, a very, very strong 9 out of 10. Pushing it to 10, but I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Midfield now, we'll start off with, uh, we'll do John Shelby. he was the more deepest one out of the, out of the lot. Um, made a challenge in the first half, which I, 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 I thought I haven't seen it back. I don't think it was a foul, and that was what was led to the goal. I don't think it was a foul. Um, the, the, and then uh, into the game, didn't didn't really do much. To be fair, he, he was he, he was more defensively um, mindset of John Joe Shelby in the game. He let Joe Linton and Joe Willock just just drive a little bit forward. He was just staying put and just just sitting there. I think you bring Bruno in for um, for Shelby if that if Joe Willock's fit. We'll speak about Joe Willock in a second, but I think Shelby out of the three because if you're saying the player for forty million and he performed very well when he came on Bruno for the last four minutes, you've got to start him. And for me, it's a shame, but I would start him over Shelby. It's it's a shame. Depending on Willock's injury as well, but I don't think Shelby was too bad. Drafted his arse off like always. Eight out of ten. Joe Willock now, and I've been a critic of Joe, Joe Willock all season, I think every Newcastle fan has, right? He was sublime. He was absolutely fucking fantastic today, right? And just because he didn't score, just because he didn't get an assist, the graft and everything he gave was sublime. And it was. You look at him and think, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a South London, North London lad, doesn't really care, be careful for the money. That performance today shows why he's at the football club there was a couple of touches flicking over players could have scored in the second half could have scored in the last two games it would be so good to see Joe Willock score again and bring that Joe, Joe, the old Joe Willock back getting seven goals and seven at Newcastle then this season hasn't gotten a goal or assist but he's playing in a little bit of a deeper role he's drafting his arse off and you've, I've got to take my hat if I had a hat on I would take it off to Joe Willock he's getting a good nine out of ten Joe Linton now and you know it was a really good performance by Joe Linton but it was one of his it, 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 don't, don't make it sound like what I'm going to say, but it was one of his worst performances in recent games, but he was still fucking class. That's how you know, right? Joe, Joe Linton was good today, right? It was, he, didn't, he, he wasn't the standout player. Um, he slipped on his horse, I think, uh, for a good chance. He had a, a good chance in the, um, in, the second, in the first half. But he didn't really do much apart from graft his horse off, and, 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 and that's what he'd done. He didn't really bring anything to the table attacking-wise, but... Defensively was 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 absolutely sublime. Like I'm like out of recent weeks, that was one of his worst performances. But I'm still gonna give him an eight out of ten. That's how good he was today. And I'm still criticizing. Well, I wouldn't say criticizing. Compared to his other performances, th that one didn't seem the greatest. And he's still getting an eight out of ten. Some boy. And I'm absolutely delighted to see this man score, Ryan Fraser. I am absolutely delighted. He's deserved it more than any player in the whole Newcastle squad. Um, he's 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 had a tough time at Newcastle injuries in his first season and I've I, I said since the first day if you give Ryan Fraser a run of games he will perform we've given him a run of games what's happened he's performed right he's not there like what he was right he's, he's a little bit older he's a little bit slower but the experience is still there he's still got a really good pass on him he can ping the ball he's a good player right and he get him on a free as well when we did sign him and I'm so happy to see him score he deserves it he, he really needed that goal and I'm so happy for him it's his first Premier League goal since 2019 early 2020 probably and it went to 2022. He's been waiting for that moment. He finally gets it. And I think it was a really good performance by Ryan Fraser today. Gonna give him a good 9 out of 10. I'll answer back to me next. And people have got the critics. People can say pass the ball and whatnot, right? But I can find well say if we didn't have St. Maximin at this football club, we we would be in the championship. And we wouldn't have this takeover, right? And 
I don't like speaking about the past and whatnot on performances because this is player ratings for the game and I do stress that a lot when I do the player ratings and it still will get put but when you see fans going past the ball what's he doing get up that's it Maximin it's not like it's the first time he's doing it where he's lying on the floor after a tackle we've got to get used to that as a player as, as fans of a player and if we didn't have him in that game do we create some of the chances that they look at the free kick he created it he, he, he ran with the ball got played and, he got, and someone got fouled I can't remember who you look at it you look at it all he created the, the second goal himself the first goal I, I can't remember if he won the corner or not he's involved in everything in Newcastle United and it's great to see what a player what a man he's not getting a 10 but he's going to get a good 9 out of 10 same max I'm in and then Chris Wood he did score but it was disallowed it was disappointing to see he huffed and puffed um, and give it his alley. He did. He was constantly running a pick fad. And we've got to get used to it now. We've got to get used to the big striker because that's what we've got. We've got no one else to play up front. Um, I didn't think he was too great, to be honest. He was Newcastle. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> too many pints. Um, he was Newcastle's worst um, player of the day, but still performed and tried his best. And you've got to give him that. Um, he just went with that first goal, in my opinion. And as soon as he gets it, that's when hopefully they'll start banging in. But we'll wait and see what happens with Chris Wood. I'm going to give him a seven out of ten. It's a it's an okay prediction. I mean, um, player uh, rating, but. It's a hobby, but 7 out of 10. And there we go, boys. I'm not going to give a player rating to Jiggle Murphy, but a massive, massive congratulations on Bruno Gramirez making his debut for Newcastle United. Absolutely delighted to see. He looked fantastic when he came on, and I can't wait to see him on Sunday. Yet again, I can't wait to see the Mags again on Sunday. I'm recording this on the Tuesday night. I will not have going to be up at half 5 for Graft, boys, and I'm recording this at half 11. So I'm going to go to Graft, do me stuff in Graft, obviously get home, get this video edited and uploaded, and whatnot, and yeah, boys, what a victory! I'm so happy with the win. What a performance! See you all in the next one, boys. See you all for the Aston Villa pre preview predict team of the game on Sunday. How good, boys? Up the fucking mags. What a win! Trippier, my ghost. Fucking come on.